Hey guys, this is Heretic, and this is the Gollum Strategy Guide for Sunday, October 17th, 2021. So in this guide, I'm going to go ahead and take it from scratch. I now have T13, so I will treat it as someone who has T13, bow, cav, etc., so from the very beginning, let's go ahead and set all of our March capacity buffs for our city. So let's start with in the Hero Council. You'll want to swap out and use Sir Gwen, And then you will want to get the Crown of Command. And I'm doing this for the, the max uh, point, you know, possible. I, I realize that this is just Gollum and the the rewards are not that great and, and all of that. Believe me, I, I realize all of that. I, we use Gollum as a, a way to test our pure firepower against similar events, monsters, uh, enemies, and other events. This is not something that you would do in PvP. This is strictly for events. So now I have those set. Now I want to go over to my city. And while we're here, we'll make sure we have all of our buffs. So city buffs, you'll want the attack buff. And you'll want to use the best capacity buff that you have. And this is just to gauge you know, how much damage you can do. For example, when we're in Seasons and you're attacking the Sentinel, this is what you'll want to do. When you're doing the Alliance Hunt, this is the guide you'll want to follow. All right. Likewise, you'll want to go to Appearance, and you'll just want to make sure that you have your, your Labyrinth buffs um, applied, which I don't. So I'll go to my inventory, and I think I already have some of these that I've gotten from the labs. If not, I can get some more. So I'll want to scroll down and just check and see if I have those frames available, and I do. So I will want to use all of them. I like to keep them always applied. So then you'll want to go to your appearance and to accolade. And within here, you'll just want to make sure that they're running and they're ticking down. And they all are here. So they all apply. So all of the frames that you have, all of the accolades that you have that are active, like all of these right here, they're all applying to my stats. You don't, it's not just the one that you have selected, it's, it's all of them. So we're good there. We have the Crown of Command. We have our heroes selected. The only other thing that you have now is in skills, you could use your Colossal. I like to save that until the very last step, but I'm going to go ahead and, and partially set up the march that I'm going to use. So I like to use, mar this is the march that I was using previously, and, and these guys have been replaced by King Lot and Kira. Kiara. Right? Just because they have a high emphasis on Bowman damage, and it ends up being better than what we were getting from Dendrain and Brutus. So I don't actually have these two heroes appointed to my council, and it doesn't really matter. As long as they're in the march, you actually take their base effects here, and their combined effects, um, on, on the actual attack. I won't get any of their skills, which right now I don't have any of it trained. That's the reason they're not a they're not actually appointed. I'll keep the stats from the heroes that I have appointed, but I can actually get the effects off of the heroes that I'm actually sending out on the march. So I'm going to select these guys. And now I'm going to set up my march. It's going to be very heavy bow. I'm going to use all the bow I have here, but that's about what I would want to do anyway. And so you want a maximum of six different types of troops going out. I'm going to lower down my calf a lot more. That's probably a little high. And yeah, 
somewhere in here. That's fine. I'm going to have a little left over. I'm going to put a little bit more here. This is, I'm not going by strict percentages. I am going more for feel. I'm going to lower this down to 190. And the reason that you do this is because whenever you send troops out, there is diminishing returns. So if you send, so you would say, well, you know, my tier 13 bowmen do the most amount of damage. Why don't I just send out 630,910? Because that's my march of tier 13 bowmen. Well, after a bit, you start getting diminishing returns if you're using the same type, same tier troop. So you want to, you want to use all six troop types and you want to have at least some of each, and you don't want to have too many of, of any one particular troop type. All right, so that feels pretty good. If I had more tier 13 bowmen, I would use them, and I would lower the amount of, of tier 12, especially bowmen. Okay, so I'm going to save this. When I apply my Colossus, I'll get more, and I'll probably put them into this um, tier 11 calf. So now that I've set all of my buffs, now I want to go over and I want to check my tomes and I want to gear them more for offense. So I'm going to go ahead and reset here. And I'm going to focus more on bow than anything. I won't put any into infantry at all. And I'll put the leftovers into, into cav. So I want to max out my arrows of vengeance. I want to max out my thousand arrows, your highest uh, level tier troop that you have. And when you're at tier 13, you're using two tomes for each of your levels. Okay. Then you'll want to get, I've got my 13s. Now I want to go to my 12s and I want to max that out. And I want to do the same thing for my tier 11. And then whatever's left over, I'm going to put into my cav because that's the other troop type that I'm sending out in these attacks. So here. And now I want to go ahead and get my 11 here. I'll still have quite a few left over for, for my cav. So that'll work out well. All right, so now I'm gonna go over to my calf. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna max out Defiant Charge because that applies to all the different levels. And then I wanna focus on my 13s. And of all the calf that I'm sending, most of it's gonna come from my tier 13 because that's gonna give me the most amount of damage. And I'll have one left over from my poor tier 11 here. If I had more, I would max that out and then I would be done. All right, but that's that's goals, that's life goals there. So now I have Crown of Command. I have Sir Gwaine in my council. And, and the reason that I do that is not for the skills. The reason that I have Sir Gwaine is that he actually gives me additional march capacity because it, march capacity probably matters more than actual skills. I mean, eventually they'll balance each other out, right? And skills will take over, but you need as many troops as you can possibly send out. And so what I do is, I at the start of the attack, I have Sir Gawain appointed, and then I'll swap in Matic um, before the, the hit lands. If you want to here as well, you could go ahead and get an attack blade, a dragon blade, and swap that in before the attack lands. Using the Crown of Command, I'm getting an extra 15% march capacity. So it's all about march capacity. So now I'm looking good, feeling good. The next thing I want to do, I have my war tomes, I have my all of my buffs set. Now I want to look and see where that golem is. 
So I want to take a look and see how far my march is. Because you want to give yourself enough time to swap. And I think 23 seconds is fine for me to swap out the the hero as well as, if I wanted to, the, the attack uh, blade. But I'm not actually going to use a dragon blade today. But I w normally you would. I'll go ahead and use a, a blade today. So this will be my march, and it's 23 seconds out. That's plenty of time to do this, and it's not too far away where it's going to affect my, my buff because it's 23 seconds there, 23 seconds back, 10 times. So that's you know 46 seconds per, and I have 30 minutes on my Colossal March Talent. So what I am going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the Dragon Blade. And so that we, I can show you the full swap out here to get the max amount of damage. So I want to bring home any troops that are gathering. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at one of the attacks. So I will select, um, I will first, first, before I do that, I am going to go to my skills and I'm going to apply the Colossal March. And for Grins, I'm going to go ahead and do the Breath of Fire. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to update my March because this will make it a lot easier the rest of the way. So I have another 20. I'm going to go ahead and put those into my tier 13 calf. Okay, so now I can go to the event go over to Kingdom Threat. Damage ranking so far, Lord Jack has 817. That's amazing, amazing. So this is the first time I'm actually going to be doing Gollum with the T13 bow and with both of the new heroes. So this is new for a lot of us here. So I'm going to click Attack. I'm going to select my March. I'm going to verify that the troop total, the troop numbers here are correct. I have my dragon applied. And now I'm going to send the march out. And then I'm going to quickly go to heroes, appoint heroes, and I'm going to swap in Matic. That's the most important one here. And then I'm going to go over and I'm going to swap in my blade, replace, and you back up, then close. And I have, you know, several seconds still left to hit. So that's good. So now what I'd want to do is go ahead and swap back into my March Capacity items. So same thing. Go back to Heroes. Appoint Hero. And appoint Sir Gwen. And now I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. So enjoy the music. I got biscotti and froze, big boss like I'm rose, icing when these that's a dome, man. Low baddie and she homemade, rep my city at the home game, up and down and go both ways, and the sprinter is taking up both lanes. Hopping, we zoom in, the package be booming, yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing and love with the moment, yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing, you see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure, we got it, got it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. Hopping, we zoom in, the package be booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving? We got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us. I highly doubt it. 
All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure we got it, got it. Been on a road, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. Been on a road, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. I did on the try me, they know that I got it. I make a deposit, they all call it. Three little baddies, they all got a fatty. I call them a cabbie, they all honey. We never slack when we on the track. I keep me a pack like Bob Molly. Just give me the loot, cause we on pursuit. Dressed in a suit like Steve Harvey. It's really just me and my bros, eh? People be hating, they throwing shade. Don't give them the time, say no names. Cause we bought our money, play no games. Stack up our bread like whole grains. Still indie like no name. Swag and splash, that's our old name. ISO, we in our own lane. Hopping, we zooming, the package, we booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing, in love with the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the scar, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure, we got it, got it. Been on a road, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. Been on a road, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, got it. So there's my 10th attack. I did uh, 725 million, which is about mm, three or 400 million more than I did before I had tier 13. So that that obviously is the big deal. Part of the reason I, I didn't get higher here was I just didn't have enough of my bow, but I'm working on bow. Considering I've only had tier 13 for a week, you know, having over 100k is, is pretty darn good. Still uh, working that up, and hopefully by next time I'll have around 200k, which is what I would use. When I would do that, I would lower down some of the tier 12 bow and pull that into my tier 13, and possibly a little bit of my tier 13 cav as well just to balance things out a little bit across the, the cab and across the bow. So if you have another setup that you're using now, maybe a mix of, you know, your Dendrain and Brutus with the new heroes or something like that, that seems to be working better than just using the two new heroes, please let me know. I'd love to do a trial run against them. If there's anything else I'm missing, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to to give you credit and update it for the next video. Again, take care.